This is Redwood Saw by Richard Rothman, a new book. Uh, I don't know whether it's out officially, but I have a copy. It's going to be out very soon if it's not out yet. Um, it's one of those really big books that's uh, kind of hard to show with my little setup here, but I'll I'll try. So you'll you'll find out why it's on that side of the the screen in, in just a little while. So the book comes with this extra material. This is a, a little booklet with an interview um, with uh, Alex Stein, who I believe is a poet. It's kind of an interesting interview. The, the photographer has the gift of gap, so there's a lot of uh, information. It's very informative. Um, all right, so I'm not going to show you this. I'm just going to show you the actual book. So it's an Israeli press book. And this is what this looks like. So you will be able to see, if I do this right, you'll be able to see the images at least, but not the full page. <clears throat> but that should be okay. So it starts out with these landscapes, uh, large format landscapes. Oh, yeah, I suppose they're landscapes. All right, see, so some, some pages have double spreads. All right. These are um, taken out west in, in California. <clears throat> the book is printed very well. It's a, it's a, a real treat to look at this book and, and to actually really feel the pages. Uh, the ink is very, you know, everything about this book is uh, is just wonderful in, in terms of the the production quality. Of course, this is what what all sh all photo books should be like, but you know, you know how it is. It ain't easy. You're probably wondering um, whether this is a book uh, containing only landscapes, but it isn't. So there's this stuff here. And this is leading into, uh, I suppose, what we could call the, the second part of this book, which is coming up in, in just a little while. There we go. So this is. Um, Photography from a little uh, rundown place, Crescent City, which is just adjacent to the the, the wooded area, the, the forest that the photographer was in. So you get these townscapes, if you want, and you get these uh, portraits. Uh, many of these portraits are rather successful, I think. Maybe slightly torn about the nudes. I don't know whether we really would have needed nudes, but that's okay.
I think my <clears throat> my only uh, slight problem with this book is that it it could have been edited a little bit more tightly. I think it does have too many photographs. Just sort of, you know, you see as we're going through the uh, the town, it just feels like it's a little bit too much. I don't want to pick out particular images, but I think some of these could have just been left out. It's of course one of those issues with photo books, you know, getting the edit right, the sequence and everything. And sometimes, you know, it's just too tempting to have <coughs> too many images. That all said, I really like this book, its portrayal of uh, first the the woods and then this town which for a long time used to live from the woods it's a lumber town first the mining town then the lumber town uh, and a fishing town and of course all those resources have been depleted because that's what we humans do and uh, now it's just a run down little town that's a very familiar American story. That, that that noise you're hearing, that's my cat here, it's trying to help out with the book presentation. She's too shy though to enter the picture. And then at the end, lastly, Crescent City is, is right in the ocean. You get some ocean views. So you leave the town, and you're back in nature. Oh, not quite. There's a little guy there. And that's it. So, uh, so as I said, this is rather new. Um, a really, really good book. Um, you know, printed exquisitely with, with lots of very, very beautiful photographs. Uh, Redwood Saw by Richard Rothman. <clears throat>